Welcome to Brain Food Bites. I'm Gary Carpenter. I'd like to take some time today and talk about the recent announcement regarding the cancellation of a portion of federal student debt. On August 25th, President Biden announced that a program was being presented in which students could apply for cancellation of a portion of their debt. Now, the dollar amounts that were mentioned were $10,000 if the student was an undergraduate and had not received a Pell Grant. If they had received a Pell Grant, the amount was increased to $20,000. Additionally, and what was a surprise to us, is that Parent PLUS loans were also included in the program. So parents can apply for a $10,000 cancellation of debt as well. Now this is limited to what's called direct federal loans. And these are loans that are made directly from the Department of Education to the institution. And they can be either in the student's name or the parent's name. There are other loans, some are federal. One is the FFEL program, and that stands for the Federal Family Education Loan Program. And of course, private student loans. Neither one of these qualify for this program. Now, in order for the loan to qualify, it has to be dispersed before July 1st of 2022. There's also income limits. A student who's single and an income of less than $125,000 can apply. Married couple with income of less than $250,000 can also apply. Now, one of the other things is, is that the question came up is, well, forgiveness of debt is usually a taxable event. Well, under a law passed last year, a forgiveness of debt, of student debt, is a tax-free transaction. So in this cancellation of debt, this is all going to be tax-free. The other thing that was involved is that they extended the suspension of payments from August 31st until December 31st of 2022. Now it came up to, well, what year's income are they going to look at? Well, we don't know. Some have said 2020, I myself think it's going to be probably 2021, but we have to wait and see the details of the program. The other thing is, a lot of students that graduated this past year are going to be looking to consolidate their loans. I recommend that they not consolidate now. Do the forgiveness of the portion of their debt first, then go and consolidate. The reason being is a consolidation is a new loan with a new origination date, which is going to be after July 1st of 2022. Therefore, if they consolidate first, they would could not do the forgiveness of debt. Finally, all I'd like to bring out is that students are going to have a windfall here, directly or indirectly, and it can have a tremendous effect on their retirement. We always have a saying in our business that every dollar not spent on college is a dollar that can go towards retirement. I hope you found this helpful. Have a good day.